Donald Trump appears to have finally hit the sudden realization that some of his lawyers are just the worst. Specifically, one of the lawyers who he recently lashed out at in a post on Truth Social, who Trump says gave him some not good advice, which is, you know, code for bad advice, um, with regard to the E. Jean Carroll trial that he lost earlier this year. Trump got on Truth Social recently, kind of out of nowhere, really, to complain about the fact that his lawyer at the time, and he didn't name the lawyer specifically, but he get more to that in a moment. He said that the lawyer had told him, don't even bother showing up. Actually, let me read it. Let me, I don't want to take anything out of context or misquote. So here's what he said. I was asked by my lawyer not to attend. It was beneath me and they have no case. That was not good advice. So he says that the lawyer told him it's beneath you. They don't even have a good case. Don't even bother about it. So Trump didn't show up. And of course he got blasted in court by E. Jean Carroll's lawyers saying that he didn't have the courage to show up and look her in the face. And yeah, it definitely played a significant role in him being found liable for the assault. He was not found liable for rape. He was found liable for assault against her. But then Trump continued. He then took a shot at Reed Hoffman who is a co-founder of LinkedIn because Hoffman, uh, paid some of the legal fees for E. Jean Carroll to bring the case. And then Hoffman recently gave a quarter million dollars to Nikki Haley, to the super PAC supporting her. So Trump lashed out at him in the same post. He said, this disgusting slob, a Democrat political operative is the same guy who funded a woman who I knew absolutely nothing about sued me for rape for which I was found not guilty. She didn't remember the year, decade or much else in interviews. She said some amazingly inconsistent things, disgraceful trial, very unfair. He was not again, found not guilty of rape. It was a civil case. So they can only find him liable for the sexual assault against her. So he's lying about being found not guilty because they were not determining his guilt. They were determining liability for what happened. Um, so maybe the Hoffman thing is why he decided to bring this up again. But, but I disagree with that. I think this has been eating away at Donald Trump for months and months and months. And he was looking for whatever excuse he could have to bring it back out there and accidentally remind everybody that he was found liable for assaulting a woman in the 1990s in a Bergdorf Goodman department store dressing room. Probably not the best thing to remind people of, cause I'm sure with all your other legal problems, a lot of folks may have forgotten about it, but that kind of seems like the thing you don't ever want to talk about again. But here's the thing. Trump admitted one of his lawyers gave him bad advice. Now, if I were to just say that to you, if I just said, Hey, Trump posted on truth social that his lawyer gave him some bad advice that he shouldn't have listened to. There's a million things that would pop into your head, right? Like, oh, are you talking about Rudy Giuliani or, or Sidney Powell or, or John Eastman or Kenneth Chesbro in the Georgia thing? No, 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 not those lawyers. Oh, oh okay. You're, you're probably talking about Alina Haba or, you know, Christina Bob or uh, uh, maybe Evan Corcoran with the documents case, right? No, 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 not those lawyers. Oh, so you're probably talking about like Alina Haba and uh, uh, the other lawyers in the fraud case, right? No, 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 no not those <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Like my lawyer gave me bad advice is a statement Trump could make <laughs> that would apply to multiple different scenarios right now. But instead it's about the one that everybody's like already forgotten about. And as I said, he didn't name the specific lawyer, but his lawyer, Joseph Takapina was the lead lawyer in that case. And when Trump uh, quoted the lawyer and said, it's beneath you, they have no case. That's actually echoing things that uh, Takapina suggested during interviews. So it is likely that Trump is referring to Takapina giving him legal advice that he says was not good, which is why we have not heard anything really from Takapina since then. He was supposed to be the superstar lawyer, the grown up in the room that was going to save Trump, and he went down in flames, just like many of the other high profile lawyers that Trump has hired that have been able to do nothing. And a lot of them have already bailed on his trials, but I got to hand it to you, Trump for a moment there. You got me. You actually admitted you got bad advice from your lawyer, but again, you've gotten much worse advice from many other lawyers and maybe eventually you'll have that realization as well.